Hey everybody, we're going to focus on drawing the nose as one of the facial next facial features we'll be uh, working on. Um, so a nose can be drawn many ways and many styles, uh, you know, from realistic to more cartoonish. Uh, so let's explore some of the styles that you've seen it in in comic books or in cartoon strips uh, or in um, or in more realistic drawings. So all these describe the nose in some way. You've probably drawn them like this a few times. But in actuality, the more realistic you want to get a nose, you want to think about uh, three ovals or three circles that join together. And then once those get refined and connected, you create the overall shape of a nose. So step one, let's gonna we're going to start with the structure. Uh, we're going to be illustrating a nose here, a realistic one. And um, when you look at a nose, it's really easy to identify uh, these rounded mounds. Usually I start in the center, and in this particular nose, it's very circular, the center of the nose. Sometimes they're teardropped. Then off to the side of it, there's two coinciding circles um, for the nostrils. Sometimes they're as wide as the center, sometimes they're thinner. And the bridge of the nose is very triangular as it goes up towards the eyes. So now we're going to refine the form. After I establish some simple shapes, what I do is I start connecting the nostrils to the center of the nose. And uh, the nostril lines help guide that process. The outer edges tuck in and around the outer edges of the nose, but they never connect uh, back to the center of the nose. You'll, you'll leave some space there. Connecting uh, will make it look too cartoonish. Uh, there's a got there's teardrop centers to noses really flat wide nostrils um, there are there are nostrils that are really tiny compared to the center of the nose so every nose is unique and different so you really want to focus on that um, after we've established the nose shape we want we can erase some of those um, some of those shapes we created and just accent some lines uh, the next step is definitely start to look at your image and look at the values Anything that doesn't have a highlight on it needs to be supported by at least some tone. What I mean by that is at least a light value. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to establish light values. Um, and I'm also going to be darkening uh, the interior of the nostrils uh, where they go into the inside of the nose. And the bridge of the nose, um, it's like a road you follow down to the base of the nose. Take a look at the, uh, it kind of grows up, grows like a mountain. So you want to get the sides of it laid in. You'll notice that that center of the nose uh, that was so circular in my image um, is getting shaded around it so the center really separates itself from the nostrils. I'm also going to go down to like the cupid's bow or the upper part of the upper lip that little patch of shadow that appears in the concave uh, section between the nose and the mouth that little webbed con concave thing. So um, building up value uh, just like I do in any other traditional shaded drawing, taking a look at what needs another layer of value, pushing the darks a little bit more. And I can always go heavier later. Uh, sometimes there's more shadow on, on, the, on the face that uh, is up against the nose, like the cheeks. So you have to put shadows um, on the exterior, outside of the nose to make nostrils stand out. I'm going to use some blending tools now. Um, and this is a blending tool like you have. You can use Q-tips, you can use paper towels, uh, depending on the, the space that you're working in. Um, and I'm going to start to model and soften edges. You'll notice a uh, nose doesn't have, um, doesn't have like harsh edges. It has uh, transitions, like rounded edges. So we want to soften and blend the edges of our shadows so they help create a rounded look. We'll start to pull out highlights here. You'll remember that highlights uh, will stay the white of the paper in a drawing. And if you ever need to pull a highlight out more, uh, you can just erase it out later, which I'll be doing soon enough. And this will definitely model the form and start to create the three-dimensionality uh, that you are expecting to do in your piece. As I work through, I look for areas that need uh, a darker value or darker tone put that in and I'll subsequently come back in and use the blending tool to soften those darker shadows. So even though it looks like I might be like strongly outlining my nostrils, I'm actually shading them um, with loose lines and then I'm going to bring my smaller blending tool 
and soften those out and bleed those out back into the, the rest of the nose features. That helps them connect back. At this point, I'll use my eraser if I have to pull out some brighter areas or if I felt like my highlight wasn't exactly where it needed to be. I'm, I'm just dabbing and lifting out with the eraser, not pushing hard. And then I can model back with just my blending tool. I don't need to add any other pencil material. I have pl plenty of pencil material on there to allow the blending tool to smudge the values in and, and merge areas together. Uh, one thing uh, I sometimes notice artists do, is, like young artists do, they'll draw a nose and then they'll loop the nostrils around and actually like fill in a dark hole. That's definitely going to make it cartoonish, so be careful with that. It's like a well, so like there's a shadow that fades out, not a distinct shape. Have a great day, everybody.